Hello everyone, we are going to see today a classic game. This was played between Capablanca and Tartacover, 1924. We are going to see here the importance of having an active rook in the endgame. Let's see what happened. h5 is the move Capablanca played here, trying to destroy the pawn structure in the king side. Tartacover played rook f6, if g takes h, then white plays rook h1, and it's going to take this one, and probably it's going to take this one, it's going to be very good for white. That's why black played here rook f6, h takes g, h takes g, and now of course rook h1, trying to take the open file to get into the 7th rank king f8 rook h7 but now rook c6 trying to get some counter play and also protecting this pawn g4 uh, black cannot take right now because then white is going to take at g6 and they will have to pass connected pawns so that's why he just played like this and Capablanca played g5 fixing this pawn in the white square knight e3 check king f3 knight f5 and, and now Capablanca begins uh, an amazing maneuver he's going to give one or maybe two pawns uh, he's not worried about it uh, as he can put his king very active. The idea is that the king and the rook together with this pawn are going to create many troubles for black. So let's see how this continues. He just played this move and now he just played king g3. He's not, he doesn't mind this pawn. Rook takes pawn, king h4, rook f3 and now g6. All he wants is to put the king over here. Rook takes pawn, king g5, rook e4. If rook takes pawn, then you will play king f6, and after king g8, then you just play rook d7, and this is winning for white. That's why Tartakower played here rook e4, but then king f6 anyway, king g8, rook check, king h8, and rook takes pawn. The rook at the 7th rank is taking many pawns, also the king is taking some pawns, and black pieces are going to be very passive in the next moves. Rook e8, king takes pawn, king f6 again, rook check, king e5, Just one more pawn and one more pawn, and this is winning. Now white has two pawns in advantage, so they started with two pawns down, and now they have two pawns up. This is very easy for uh, Kappa, and this is winning. Let me bring the position again. This is the moment where he decided to play King G3, giving one and two pawns and maybe more just to try to get this square but creating many problems for black Kappa was very strong in this kind of endgames well thank you for watching um bye for now